Hi, Click Millionaire. It's Scott Fox here with a weekly Click Millionaires update just for you. I've got a question from ClickMillionaires.com member Mike. Now, this is kind of a basic question, but it's an important one, especially if you're new to the world of e-business. Mike's question is, how much does it cost to start a new website for your business? Well, Mike, there's a lot of answers to that question. Like most things, it's more complicated than it appears on the surface. The way to quantify what it costs you to start a new business website is really to look at your expectations and work backwards. What kind of business do you want to start? In my private coaching sessions and in the Click Millionaires forum, we talk about this all the time, and I often use a car analogy. Are you looking for a rusty old Volkswagen? Are you looking for a day-to-day uh, -day nice new Toyota or Buick? Or are you looking for a really high-end, brand new Bentley or Rolls-Royce or maybe even a Ferrari? It's kind of up to you. All three will get you from here to there, but each one represents your business differently and offers a different level of service, both to you in terms of ease of use and to your customers in terms of the services you provide. So let's get a little more specific though. First of all, you should know that to start a business online today actually can cost you as much as... Nothing. <laughs> a website can actually cost you nothing. You can get a free website today. There are services like uh, blogger.com, wordpress.com, or weebly.com. Those are all totally legit companies, big businesses that offer free hosting of websites and they make their money through uh, selling uh, upgrades to the service, different premium services, so that when your business gets larger you can pay them a bit of money each month and they'll make the money, but along the way you can get started literally for free. So if your main question before starting an e-business is, how much does it cost? Why, honestly, I would move past that. There are other things to think about. But since you wrote in Click Millionaire Mike, and I like to answer all the questions from my Click Millionaire's members, let me give you just a few more details to, to really give you the context. So you can start for free, WordPress.com, Weebly, maybe Blogger. But if you spend a little money, you can actually get a little more features, not surprisingly. I use a system called TypePad.com, which I like very much. It's a blogging company, but I also use it for general purpose websites. There are uh, common website builders, say like uh, CityMax or Homestead.com, and that's very common these days. They charge something like $15 or $20 a month and give you a bunch of WYSIWYG, that stands for what you see is what you get, a bunch of WYSIWYG website building tools that you can use even if you don't know much about technology, you can start a website using them. And then there are other players like Wix, wix.com, and they charge $10 to $15 a month for very pretty websites that are primarily flash-based. That means animated with lots of pretty pictures. So if you have a more uh, graphics-driven business, you might pick Wix over, say, uh, TypePad, which I like, which is more of a blogging and, and text-based platform. But all of these options are available to you, and they start as low as zero <laughs> on a monthly basis and rise up to maybe uh, 20, 30. And if you really get all the upgrades, you can really run a website these days for less than $50 a month. So money is really not the issue. I know it's concerning to think, what does it cost to start a website? But that isn't the big issue. If you really have a legitimate business idea, 50 bucks a month or less, should not be what's standing in your way. If you've got a good idea and the motivation to pursue it, I would get out there and do it. Now let me know, this, this recommendation does not include some of the basics I think you do need, so there are some other costs involved in starting a fully featured website. For example, I think collecting emails is a top priority for any online business owner. You want to have a service that will collect the emails for you. You don't want to be doing this yourself and managing the subscribes and unsubscribes. And there are lots of great services also discussed at clickmillionaires.com in the forum. And we can talk about the different services there. But those will cost you generally uh, $10, $15, $20 dollars a month also. Of course, you'd also want a domain name. If you're starting a business website, you don't want it to look like a free site that says fredsnewbusiness.blogger.com. That just doesn't look very professional. But a domain name these days, well, 10 bucks a year and often free with a longer term hosting package. So again, not a lot of money here. One other thing I'd point out is that logos can really professionalize and customize the look of your new website, even if you use one of these inexpensive or free services. I like the guys at CheapLogoInfo.com, CheapLogoInfo.com, and they do great work. They did my Click Millionaire's logo, and I got that for a grand total of $17. So <laughs> that's a real deal, and if that's interesting to you, I think a logo is a great place to start in upgrading your website as well. Now these recommendations are for basic websites, primarily content-oriented websites. And by content, I mean information. So if you have a small business and you just want to put up a small site that says, uh, we're located here and here's our hours and here's our products, this fits for you. 
or if you have an idea about a blog. Uh, blog publishing is content oriented as well. These recommendations will work for you. These will not cover larger, more sophisticated technology implementations. So for example, if you have an idea for a, a new dating website or some sort of eBay marketplace or YouTube video hosting maybe, uh, those are more complicated systems. If you have a, a membership site you want to sell subscriptions to, for example, or uh, if you want to sell a lot of products, there are a lot of great store hosting packages also. But in all those cases, you can start with the inexpensive or free services I mentioned at the top of this video. They'll get you started, and then you can add on the store or video hosting or memberships or whatever else it is later. I'd encourage you to get started today because the worldwide reach of the web is yours, and it is not that expensive. Money is not the hurdle here. You can get publishing. You can build an audience. You can promote your brand online very inexpensively. And these services are not as hard to use as they may sound. A lot of drag and drop with your mouse. If you can write an email or write a Word document, you can build a website today. And if you get a good logo, you can professionalize it pretty inexpensively as well. So I hope that's helpful to you, Click Millionaire Mike. I love hearing your questions, and I'm always happy to answer questions, especially for my ClickMillionaires.com members. Uh, the grand total of 50 bucks a month, I think it's a good investment for you to get this website services up, uh, get the email collection, the hosting, uh, add on your domain name, get all that together. If you've got a few more bucks, come on in and join ClickMillionaires.com as well, of course, because that's where we talk about this sort of thing 24-7 in the helpful forum there. So money's not the issue. Your creativity, your motivation, are what really matters here, and most of all, the service that you can provide to your potential customers. All these tools are just that, tools. You don't go to Home Depot and buy a whole new set of tools when you're going to build a house. You start with an architect and a plan and a vision for what you want to build. That's where I'd spend your time. Get your game together and start inexpensively. Save your money for later when you've proven that there's a real business there. So I hope that's helpful to you, Click Millionaire Mike. It's uh, maybe a basic question for a lot of you, but getting started is the hardest part for a lot of folks, and I'm here to tell you, you can do this, and it doesn't cost as much as you think. So thanks for sending me that question. Don't use the lack of money as an excuse. The tools are just tools. Get out there, step out, make it happen. So also this week in Click Millionaire, since I have you here, I uh, wanted to announce our latest winner for our website tune-up community clinic. Tony from the UK was selected by Click Millionaire member Seth as the most helpful member in reviewing his new B2B shopping center real estate website. So very interesting site. Seth, thanks for submitting that, and congratulations to Tony. Seth picked you as the winner for being the most helpful. We've also got our scavenger hunt running still, so if you're a Click Millionaire's member, come on into the forum and meet your other uh, members there and uh, exchange some links and exchange some comments and it'll help everybody grow their traffic because that's what we're all about. And then our featured resource this week, you know, my nine commandments for e-riches marketing are available for free download to Click Millionaire's members. So check it out in the resources section under file cabinet. You can find my nine commandments for e-riches marketing success. And if you haven't already, stop by the forum and welcome somebody today or get welcomed yourself. Check in the welcome wagon section and say hello. And last, our video winner for this week. If you've watched all the way to the end, thanks. Click Millionaire member Jeremy. Uh, Pastor Jeremy from Kansas, we're going to help him out with a free download from the Scott Fox shop because he's a Click Millionaires member and he had his photo posted. Uh, you have to have your photo posted at clickmillionaires.com to win the weekly video announcement. So Pastor Jeremy, send me an email and we'll send you whatever you'd like from the scottfoxshop.com. So thanks for listening and I hope that that advice from Click Millionaires Mike's question about how much does it cost to build a website is helpful to you. I'll see you again real soon in the Click Millionaires forum. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.